Thank you, George. A major expansion at Oshkosh Corporation is complete tonight. The company showed off its new paint facility earlier today, which will support production of the U.S. Army's FM TVs. And as Jason Zimmerman reports, it also means additional jobs. After months of construction, Oshkosh Corporation has a new assembly line tonight inside a paint facility to support a $3 billion military contract to build about 2,300 FM TVs. It's essentially a paint facility, um, but instead of spraying on the paint, it's kind of a facility where we can actually dip parts into a bath and then it gets the paint to adhere to the metal with an electric charge. The new plant will mean 190 new jobs. It's a 150,000 square foot facility that's expected to boost the economy and help out a number of the company's suppliers across Wisconsin. <laughs> After a dedication today, city and county officials were given a tour. Bottom line is jobs and security for the troops, and uh, that's bottom line. And uh, to get those good jobs, to get the security for our troops, it, it's just fantastic, and we have a lot of smiling faces here today. The plan has been up and running for three weeks now. The company says the latest technology here will also provide them a competitive edge when bidding on future projects. We'll have a cost advantage. We'll have an advantage in environmental compliance. Um, all those things that are that are important to our customers, whether it's the Department of Defense or, or commercial buyer as well. Reporting in Oshkosh, Jason Zimmerman, Action 2 News. In our economy, your future tonight, a local company has opened a sizable new facility. That company is Oshkosh Corporation, and the building is its new Ecoat building. Yeah, it's the building where military vehicles get that final high-tech paint treatment before being sent on to the troops. And the hope is that this generation of military vehicles will better protect troops at risk for bombs exploding nearby. And as Fox 11's Lindsay Veramus explains tonight, the project is also bringing jobs to the community. When you're trying to build for the U.S. Army, Oshkosh Corporation says you've got to build big. This e-coding center proves it. This facility will allow us to build a, a structure that will protect not only the soldiers' lives tomorrow, but the soldiers' lives 22 years from now. The 150,000 square foot building will help the company fill a $3 billion government contract to make armored trucks and trailers. Oshkosh expects to produce 23,000 of them during the next five years. It will protect soldiers in, uh, against small arms, against blast, all the threat that they're seeing in Afghanistan and Iraq today. But Oshkosh and Defense President Andy Hove says the trucks and trailers need to last. That's where e-coding comes in. The process prevents rust and decay by dipping parts in an electrically charged paint bath. This is what the cabs look like before the paint bath, while these have already received the protective coating designed to make them last 22 years and protect our armed forces. The e-coating facility will also protect area jobs, saving more than 1,800 and adding more than 150 new positions. It's jobs, 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 I think is the most important thing here. Uh, we need them. We need them in the community. Mayor Paul Esslinger says that's why the city, county, and state were willing to offer Oshkosh incentives to help secure the contract. Because Oshkosh Corporation has uh, competitors. The company expects to give back, indirectly pumping more than a billion dollars into the region and eventually spending another billion in the state. So roughly a $2 billion impact uh, to that on this contract alone never mind our more competitive position to win contracts in the future. The company will deliver the first trucks this month. In Oshkosh, Lindsay Vermis, Fox 11 News. Now, while Oshkosh Corp built the ECOAT facility specifically for the armored trucks, it says it does expect to use the building for other programs as well.